Good afternoon guys, I've got myself this uh, Rab Ascent 1100 sleeping bag I'm making the video from the house because I've done my back in But I think it's best to do it in the house because you can show it off better, can't you? So, <clears throat> this is the Rab Ascent 1100 I've got the evergreen version Left zip is mine, so It's you get this certificate, it's responsible down standard, so you know where the down's coming from. So, before we start, I'll start with the specs of the sleeping bag. So, I'm just reading it from this card, to be honest. Right, so, the Rabba Scent 1100, I've got the XL version, so mine's is longer. So, the Rabba Scent 1100 XL is a 650 Full power, RDS, uh, certified European down, uh, blah blah blah, it's it's Pertex, the outer coating is made from Pertex, that's kind of rab material isn't it? It's a mummy shaped material, it says it's ideal for winter camping, and it tells you about Pertex, Pertex is... Created with tightly woven structure, Pertex quantum fabric is lightweight, soft, allowing insulation to flow and for the down to loft. And yeah, 600 full power. And so this one is a duck down. I thought it was actual goose down, but it's duck down. So and Rab's got a warranty. All Rab guarantees have a guarantee that cover the original owner with proof of purchase. The product fails due to workmanship, blah, blah, blah. So you've got that as well. So let's get into the video and I'll show you the actual Rab sleeping bag. Rab Ascent 1100 XL sleeping bag. So... As I've said before guys, I'm six foot three, I'm going to climb inside the bag and I'm not exactly the thinnest of people either am I, so got a bit of a chunky belly on me, so I'll climb inside. do like is it's got this huge big baffle at the side. I'll give you a closer look at that after I've climbed inside. My other sling bag I've got, I won't be honest, it's quite a tight. Oh yeah. So, there's the zipper, it's got uh, two zippers on it. So as I said about that baffle, look, there's the, the baffle. So when you're zipping the inside, my other sleeping bag doesn't actually have that. Which that does make sense because uh, the wind will come through. See when you've got it zipped up like so, look, see that it's inside. 
Sometimes you do feel the wind coming through your sleeping bag, don't you? When it's really winter, <laughs> even inside your tent. So that's the inside. It's got the baffle for the head, your neck, sorry, your neck baffle, which you can pull tighter with the red cord, cinch cord. And then it's got the one for your, uh, your head to pull it in. When it's really winter, you want that pulled right in, don't you? And uh, never, <laughs> never put your head inside your sleeping bag. You always need to vent the, the air, don't you? So this is the XL sleeping bag that I've got. It is 200 centimetres, I think. But I'll give you a look at that in two seconds. But as you can see, it's stretching over my mat, isn't it? So... So, got the measuring tape guys, we'll measure it. Like I seen online it said it was like 200 centimetres. So, 200 and 10, I think. Definitely should have flat, oh yeah, that's 220, sorry. So, 220. It's definitely wider. Let's see how wide. It's actually 80 centimetres wide. Nice and wide. I mean, I like a nice wide sling bag, so. This is my other sleeping bag that I normally use. This is a lot cheaper. one. So. As you can see from the height, look. So there we go, as you can see, look, the sleeping bag definitely is bigger, longer, look. I definitely need a longer sleeping bag, but uh, just here, you can see that bag is a bit tight for me. Perfect for my Ollie, but for me, it's a little bit tight, the cheaper one. But been a good bag it has been i can't really complain but that's the new bag guys rab i sent 1100 xl duck down 450 full power i think it's rated till like minus 25 or some something stupid like that it does feel very warm when i was inside it and uh, i forgot to say see the the duck down inside it's knitwax treated as well. So, whereas this one sometimes gets kind of wet, but I don't think that is knitwax treated. Whereas this one is get knitwax treatment. So, I do thank you for watching the video. Sorry the sleeping bag was done in the house. I've always kind of found that's the best way to do it. Rather than doing it inside the tent because there's never enough room to actually show the actual product off so that's my new sleeping bag for 2020 guys hopefully that should last me a good couple of years shouldn't it my last one lasted me i think i've had that one two years still going strong nothing wrong with it but uh, i just wanted to have one so thank you for watching and if you could give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, please voice your opinion with a thumbs down. But most of all, I thank you for watching. Thanks guys. So, catch you in the next one. I should be back out camping very soon. So, depends when this video goes up. But yeah, I've kind of jumped my back when I was out at Lock Trail. I've kind of jumped it a little bit. So, and Colin's hurt his back as well when he climbed and he fell down that hole. So <laughs> I'm blabbering here, aren't I? So thank you. Thanks, guys. Stick a comment. Let me know what you think of the new sleeping bag. If you like it or if you don't. So thank you.